Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is the card that I've been making today. It's the sort of card that you might want to send if you've got a friend who's been having um, a bit of a difficult time recently. A uh, message on the front says we'll weather this together and when you open it up inside a uh, beautiful rainbow pops up and you have the message wishing you brighter days. Now uh, it's quite effective but it's reasonably simple to make and if you stay with me, I will show you how I made it. Here are the things that I'm using to make my card today. I have a piece of pool party, which is four inches by five and three quarters. I've got another piece, which is eight inches by five and three quarters. I've got two pieces of the Myth and Magic DSP and this one piece is going to be the panel that goes on the front and this is three and three quarters by five and a half and this bit is going to go inside so it is a five and a half by seven and three quarters I think I'll check that I've got a piece of whisper white which I'm going to be stamping and die cutting on and it's ordinary whisper white it's not the thick stuff okay and I have got some scraps of colour and as you can see I've already been um, getting at some of these so let's put them into rainbow order um, so first of all I've got real red that's my red for my orange I have pumpkin pie uh, for green I'm using emerald envy blue is um, Pacific Point yellow daffodil delight indigo is elegant eggplant and my violet is fresh fig so I've got Richard of York gave battle in vain or Roy G Biv okay my rainbow colors I'm going to use the weather together stamps I haven't uh, I haven't made much use of this but this one is in the annual catalog and I think it goes rather well with a, a weathery sort of theme and the rainbow builder thinlets dies oh and I'm going to be doing a bit of stamping and sponging so I've got uh, a Bermuda Bay stamping spot and a pool party stamping spot now of course you could use full size ones the stamping spots are just a nice convenient size I've been over to my big shot and I've done a whole heap of, of die cutting. I've cut out all of my uh, my coloured rainbow pieces and I've cut out uh, quite a few cloud pieces. And as you can see, I've started sponging around the edges of this one. Um, so I'm going to continue on doing that and I'm going to start on my uh, on my craft mat here, my splodge mat, and I'm just going to try and take off most of the colour just before I even get there
I filmed myself building up the um, I filmed myself building up the front of the card, uh, at least I thought I did, uh, and then I found I'd forgotten to press the record button. I have got to stop doing that. So I'll just talk you through what I did. Um, I mounted my DSP onto my pool party panel, and then I brought in the, um, the cloud pieces that I'd sponged, and just built them up onto the front of the card. I stamped, we'll weather this together, uh, in Bermuda Bay ink at the bottom of the front panel and I put my, my little bright yellow sun peeping out from behind a couple of clouds. Alright, so that is the that was the front of my card. Alright. So there you are. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up my rainbow. Uh, just to kind of keep it all together. So I've got a little piece of uh, whisper white here which is a a scrap that was cut off those cloud shapes actually and I want to butt the end of my the curve of my rainbow up against that flat piece there. I'm doing this to try and keep all of my bits together and uh, to stop them from splitting up and making me a wonky shaped rainbow because I have found that uh, these rainbow pieces they want to run away and go and do their own thing, which is very naughty of them. Okay, so I'm just putting little spots of liquid adhesive and just lining those up just on that piece of Whisper White, which I'm just using as a bit of a backing card. So. I'm going to I'm going to score my big panel of Whisper White. That's my bit that's eight by five and three quarters, and I'm going to score it at the four inch mark, which is halfway. And I'm going to make a mark at two inches, and I'm going to make another one at six inches. Right. I've got my my rainbow that I've built, and I'm going to put it onto my scoreboard. And from end to end, it's just over three inches, about three and one eighth inches. So I'm going to put it either side of my center line so that I'm just over the seven and a half inch mark here and just over the four and a half inch mark there. And I'm going to carefully score across all of my rainbows just like that okay and I'm going to fold the piece in half and I'm going to put that on one side now until I need it so here's my panel of pool party and I've got my score line down the middle and I've got my two little marks on the edge there and so I'm going to measure two inches from this edge, which is the edge on which I made the marks, not the other edge, like I did a minute ago. And I'm going to measure down two inches, and I'm just going to make another little mark there. And now, with my ruler, I'm going to join those two marks together. So I put my uh, embossing tool on the one end, and. Uh, checking that it's on the other end and I'm just going to join those two together and then I'm going to do the same from here to here so uh, yeah light's not brilliant so I'm hoping that this is going to be okay there we go. so now I've got a sort of a, a V piece down 
the middle there and now I'm going to fold the card in half and then I'm going to fold this way and fold that way and now I'm going to reverse that fold so instead of folding that way it now folds inward I'm just going to bring it all together and give that a jolly good rub over with my folder folder so now when I open the card that bit pops up just like that So here is my rainbow, which I've reinforced with a couple of pieces of the, um, the, the scrap DSP that I cut off. And now I'm going to put some adhesive on these bottom corners. And I'm going to line my rainbow up with the fold. So that that crease is aligning with the fold in the card. So that when I shut it, it tucks itself neatly inside. So I'm going to finish off with um, a few clouds inside. Again, if any of those pieces are on the fold line, in with marula and follow the school through and then train them and if anything pops up like that And there it is, there is my finished uh, card. So uh, I did stamp the sentiment wishing you brighter days on the inside and that was done with the, the same Bermuda Bay ink that I used on the front. Now, uh, obviously if you wanted to, you could embellish the front of this uh, as, as much as you liked and um, you've got plenty of space inside uh, to write a nice supportive, uh, a nice supportive message. But I do hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial today and if so I'd be absolutely thrilled if you would come back and see me again sometime uh, but for now thank you very much for joining me and I hope that I'll see you again soon bye bye